Does it feel like we're on a production set now? I can see your face and your body movement. <laughs> Take it around town. Guys, we got a new camera. Oh, this means we should be perfect at um, side high fives. Ready, set, go. Okay, ready, set, go. Are you doing something? <laughs> No. Right? Do you just put your hand up and I'll do the rest. Ready, set, go. <laughs> it was really far to travel, but I got there. <laughs> Welcome back to Brooke and Jake Make, where I'm not Brooke. And I'm not Jake. Today we're gonna build coffee molders. With horns. Yeah. So let's get started. We're gonna cut the wood, sand the wood, stain the wood. <laughs> Very similar to our last project. It's pretty simple. We're trying to do quick little things for the holidays that hopefully mm -hmm. you'll have time to do yourself and get your house ready for the holidays in case you're having people over. Because we're ready for our first Christmas in this house and we are missing a lot of decorations because we haven't had a fireplace mantle or anything where you actually hung your stockings before. Yeah, we went from a little dinky apartment where we hung all of our stockings on command hooks to not having a pretty mantle that we can put our stockings on. So we want to do something a little fun, a little fancy, and that's not going to take you a year to make. No, it should be really quick. It should be about a day depending on when you mm -hmm. start. Yep. The biggest wait time is this day. Yep. So let's get started. <laughs> For this build, we picked up a heavier, a hardwood that has a little more weight to it. So it's a two by two block? No. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a two by two block of oak that we're gonna cut in, I think about six little sections and attach our hooks to them. Hopefully they can withhold the weight of our stockings because we kind of have heavy stockings. I like to stuff our stockings with lots of candy. Yeah. We have very bad it's, sweet tooths. So it, it very bad. We I mean, lots of candy. Our breakfast this morning was a brownie. <laughs> Both of us ate a brownie for breakfast. It's a great breakfast. Yeah, breakfast is great nutrition. In case this doesn't hold the weight of our stocking by itself, we have a possible idea that we'll try out or we'll at least tell you about so that you can do it if your stockings are even heavier than ours, <laughs> which would be pretty amazing. Like, I think like two times I mean, amazing. They could be heavier if they put a bunch of fruit in there, like. A bag like of oranges. Oranges and apples and stuff. Yeah. I don't do that, but a lot of people do that. Alright, let's get started. Let's cut this wood. Yay! So, I have the blades set up, but I need to like... I want to make a jig, because I'm really into the jigs. And I don't know how to make this work, because it needs to be all the way up here. I got it, I got it! Ah! Oh, Alright, I like that idea. That would work. All good? Yeah. Let's give it a try. Okay. I think that finishes up our sanding. Yeah. Good job.
Our box has been stained and dried and now we need to take apart a little bit these um, ornamental antlers that we found at the craft store. Um, we got to take out, oh, well that was easy. We got to do that. We got to take out the little wire hook thing from the base and then we might have to cut the bases to get them to be a little bit flatter to stick on to this easily but yeah that's our next step and then we're gonna glue them on there and then they'll be done we'll put a coat of poly on them and we're good to go super simple craft keep it because of yeah there you go because of dry time slash stain time um which if you were working with spray paint or if you're willing to be a little more oh, yeah. risky and not wait the whole time for the dry, we waited the full eight mm -hmm. hours. Um, you would be able to get this done easily in a day. We're gonna get everything other than the poly done today, but finished product won't really look any different. That's a super flat one. Cool. This one is bubbly. Uh, something else that you could do too, instead of staining the wood blocks and waiting for stain, you could just wrap them in wrapping paper, like a plain wrapping paper or a fun wrapping paper if you wanted to do that. But I feel like if you were gonna do the antlers with it, which you don't have to do the antlers either, you could do something totally different. Um, but if you were gonna do the antlers, I'd go with more of a plain wrapping paper, but you do you, whatever. Right. Um, so I, you, again, like our tree skirt was, you can adapt this to kind of be whatever you want it to be. I would say that one of the, you're just manhandling it. I'm sitting yeah. there and like turning it slowly until it unscrews. But I would say the big thing is you just need to find something that kind of looks for your aesthetic. We have antlers in our tree, fake antlers in our mm -hmm. tree. And so this just pulls in those same pieces so that it's all one cohesive sort of yeah. look, I guess. And plus, I think antlers are more fun than just having a basic kind of hook on it. Right. But a basic hook can look very like, what do you call that? flashy or oh yeah like put together sophisticated sophisticated chic, yeah whatever you yeah. can make any kind of style that you want so for these we might cut the backs off if they're too bulbous but otherwise we're just going to be attaching them with clear e clear and transparent e6000 We've never used this. No, we have not. But I assume it's like glue. Yeah, do you want to read the instructions and see what it says? Okay, I guess not because it's dripping. Oh, okay. Glue it. And we have no idea how long this takes, do we? Nope, that's why I wanted you to read the directions first. 24 hours for cure. You gotta hold that for 24 hours! Like what? Really? Why do people use this? Should we do like a combination of that and uh, super glue then? Maybe. Or just hot glue. Alright, let's get some glue. Really glue. So this one has now become our task piece to figure out what will stick. Um, I think I want to jump to screwing next. So now they're built and ready to go. Time to test them and see if they'll hold a stocking. Okay. 
Mine's already tilting. <laughs> Woo! Mine's doing its job perfectly. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> so we have a solution. We're gonna use command strips that hold 16 pounds. They're the Velcro ones. Um, they should hopefully hold our stockings with everything in it. So we're gonna attach those and see if it works. Hopefully it does. Beef up our stocking holders. Hey, Ronnie. You want to test it and see if it works first? Of course. Da, 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 da. Yay! <sighs> All right, so that's it for this build this was another pretty quick one a little bit faster than our tree skirt one mm -hmm. but super happy with how it turned out super simple again as our tree skirt one you can also adapt this to anything that you could want it to be i think the big thing that i want to do is add like once again same with the tree skirt add a letter h or a letter j oh, yeah. or a letter something B, on the top whatever your name is to kind of go on top yeah but there's a lot of cute little ideas that you can do for that. There's so many things. So these holiday builds are absolutely things that have been bringing joy into our life as we get through them. So we just want to remind you. To do something that makes you happy every single day. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video or any of our other videos, make sure you smash that like button and use the notification bell if you want to know when we post more videos. And if you don't do antlers, let us know what you do. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.